This here is Backwoods Billy, coming to Delmar East Shore. Remember to click, like, and subscribe to Backwoods Billy Craft Beer Reviews, where we not only do beer, we do wine, we do spirits and food, and we also do some education on that, like look into hop farms, malt houses, all that kind of good stuff. While we're here today, we're going to talk about a wine, Malbec, which um, this one's from Chile, but most people know the one's from Argentina. It originally started in France. I'm going to have a second video where I'll go through all the good gig stuff about um, Malbec. But right now, 60 to 68 degrees is your serving temperature, or 16 to 20 degrees Celsius, 60 to 68 degrees Fahrenheit, or 16 to 20 degrees Celsius. Uh, typically, the ABV ranges from 12 all up to 15% on the wine. It tends to be a full-bodied wine. More on the drier side. Now, this is from Argentina, I mean from Chile, which is pretty close to Argentina. It's this next door neighbor. And um, Frontier it says, after dark, inspired by the night, plum blackberry notes, uh, smoky finish. Smoky finish is typical. Uh, and, and um, Malbec, share with your friends and enjoy a barbecue, uh, juicy burger or steak. I agree with that. I would also go with spicy foods, not only barbecue, but Indian, Mexican, Thai, Chinese, uh, things of that nature. Um, you can also do some leaner meats with this as well. Um, a little glass, we'll talk about this in the This is cool. But this glass is uh, non leaded crystal, and the idea is it'll end on here, which way your nose faces. You get a better whiff to the aroma. This is a deep bowl glass that kind of narrows up, and either one is acceptable. I got this from the Napa in Newport, Southern California's premier wine event, and thinking about some charity. It's like muscular to but it more so goes after young boys um and in march they have the event there but either one of these are good for this this wine you just want something that can kind of trap the aromatics in with it um it's good now this is a screw cap um you know you have traditional cork synthetic cork and you have your screw cap more and more stuff is moving towards screw caps um the mile back right here now decanting typically would just be about 30 minutes but we're not going to do that we're going to use a decanting pour we're just going to go ahead and give it a pour and on the second video I do, um, if you're interested in learning more about it, I'll actually let it breathe a little bit. You can see the difference in the wine as it opens up a little bit. My truck needs a new muffler. Now we also see the legs coming down here, and there's a lot of legs, also called church windows. So make a little arch in there and also called tears any of those acceptable it's going to give you an indication of the alcohol in here is 12 percent abv on this and also the sugar content right away you get the sweet fruits on this um, up front on this you're getting uh, cherries big and bold i'm getting a little bit of strawberry notes it's not on the labels but i get strawberries on this as well um, a little bit of coffee A little bit of plum. And the color on this is going to be a little bit deeper, more like a purple red, very dark. Magenta on the sides on there. I'm going to go and give us a little taste. You get cherries, strawberries, blackberries with this, which is not in the aromatics. A little bit of coffee note to this, and you get the smoky finish to this. The finish is not a long finish, but the wine is an acidic wine. So you get an acidic bite on the side, and it's also a high tannic wine. So sort of like sucking on a tea bag, you get that uh, kind of a, the tannins get you on there. Now, this is a good wine. It could be either you can drink it with or without food. It could be enjoyed with friends or alone. Um, like I said, if you want to pair it with something, chicken wings uh, with blue cheese would be awesome. A nice hamburger or a steak. You could also go with duck or chicken. Um, this wine's kind of versatile, so I like it. It's a little bit. On, it's the the body. This is on the full side. Now this wine, after fermentation, was aged in stainless steel tanks for three months. Now it's not oaked, but they can be oaked, and they can use French oak or American oak, or both, and then um, it can be aged up to twenty four months. On oak. This is not oak, so you're going to get more of the fruity notes. You're not going to get the spicy, the vanilla, the coconut you would normally get with the oak aspects of this. Um, it's 
on the jammier side. It's a backwards Billy two thumbs up. Remember to click, like, and subscribe to Backwoods Billy Craft Beer Reviews. Leave me a comment. Tell me what you think, what you thought about the wine. And um, also, if you get a chance to check it out, Frontier Malbec, this is 2017. I definitely recommend it. What do we pay, like um, $5 for this? Something like it. So around, it's like the $5, $6 price range. Um, you can't beat that. Have an awesome day, guys. Remember to subscribe. Get subscribe.